Hey guys, this is Jose from UltimateMuseGuides.com and I'm here to show you guys how to properly use the Layers Panel. Um, if you don't know this already, the Layers Panel works um, sort of like this. Um, when you're creating all these pages and you're putting all these elements, if you have all these elements on one layer, it's going to make the Z order all the same. Now, if you take these elements and put them on separate layers, on, on the appropriate layers, then what you're telling Muse is to put the Z order on, with for certain elements um, on a certain level. And that helps you achieve effects where you have a pinned navigation bar, like the top bar here, and you have it applied to a master, and you have it applied to multiple pages, and it actually works. So all the rest of the content slides right underneath as, it, as the navigation stays on top right in front. Now, here's what I'm talking about. On this example, we have the navigation bar with the logo and everything in the master on layer one. But everything else on the home page where the master is applied to is also on layer one. And if you see the, if you see in layer one when we go to the home page where the master is applied to, you can't actually touch the top bar. It doesn't actually show up as you can see in the layers panel now um, and keep in mind it is if I go back to the home master desktop and I have already pinned it again it's not showing up on the home page now here's how and the problem with that is it's still stuck right behind all the elements on the home page so when you go to preview this in browser it's not going to look the way you want it to it. Now here's how we fix that. We're going to use layers panel appropriately. So we go back to the master page. We're going to create a layer for this top bar. Okay, we can call anything we want. Desktop, you know, menu, layer, whatever you want. We're going to go ahead and grab all these elements we have selected. We're going to right click it and move to the desktop menu layer. Okay. And there we go, it's still pinned. And now when we go to the home desktop, even though you cannot look at the layers inside that desktop menu layer, or the elements in the desktop menu layer, it's still in a Z order or in a hierarchy as it being the first thing on the first layer, everything else underneath it. So when we go ahead and preview this page in browser this time around, all the elements are actually gonna go ahead and fall underneath. Isn't that great? All the elements are going to fall, well the links don't work, but all the elements are going to fall right underneath that bar and work exactly how we want it to. And in a nutshell, that's how you make the layers panel work pro um, properly. So when you're working from your masters and you want something to be pinned or you want something to appear on the first level, you want to make a separate layer on it and put it to the top in your layer hierarchy and even if you have those elements in the master it'll still work on your other pages that your masters are applied to so really start thinking about using the layers you know the right way and and um, when you do this you'll get you know the effects you want or the functionality you want on your websites well I hope you enjoy this video I have a lot more coming out uh, but until then you keep designing Muse and have a great day